Hey guys, Zeus here, and welcome to this Season 9 Lucian Guide. Here's a cheat sheet if you want to try this out ASAP. Lucian currently sits at the top of ADCs. He's dominant in most matchups, has great mobility for an ADC, shreds tanks after Black Cleaver, and doesn't rely too much on supports. If you're a solo ADC player, this is the perfect champ for you. Press the attack is optimal for Lucian, since his passive procs this quickly. Simply auto a champ, dash in, double auto, and you have already procced the extra damage from this rune. Good players will respect your damage however, so they'll stay far away, forcing you to commit a little bit harder if you want to get the extra damage. Triumph as the first minor rune. Pretty simple and optimal rune, great for close duels, and that 20 gold for a kill is just that extra bonus. Lucian needs to get pretty close in general, since he has one of the lowest ranges of the ADCs, so getting any health will allow him to clean up and continue in fights. Legend Alacrity. This is simply one of the best runes for any ADC that's going to build attack speed. And Coup de Gras, which does 7% more damage to champions below 40% HP, which is ideal for cleaning up and dealing the most damage in general. Mana Flow Band is great for Lucian, especially in lane. Optimal trades will mean using a full rotation of your spells. The extra mana that this provides will help you maintain pressure in lane. And the last rune is Absolute Focus, which does more damage if you stay above 70% health. Since you'll be building a Bork, you'll have lifesteal to ensure you stay nice and healthy, activating the extra damage from this rune. Doran's Blade is great for pretty much 90% of starts. And the shield for the other 10% is great if you feel you're going to be focused in lane and your support is perhaps squishy and a very passive laner who stays back. Or even if the enemy ADC and support has a high poke. Blade of the Ruined King is the first major buy. It has a great build path. The Cutlass will be useful for early fights in lane. The Life Steal provides sustain. It does 8% of current health as physical bonus damage to champions with every auto and is great to shred tanks. This will synergize with future items. Berserker Graves are great in most situations. Ninja Tabais against AD champs that are huge threats or simply a full enemy AD comp will make this a good purchase as well. Black Cleaver will give you a great power spike. The tankiness, the CDR, and the shredding ability this item provides is perfect for Lucian. It synergizes well with Bork, making you shred through tanks with ease. Once you get to this point, take advantage of your power spike and become a huge threat. Most ADCs in this meta don't scale until later on, making Lucian one of the strongest ADCs right now. I've added Essence Reaver right at the end here. If the entire enemy team is squishy and you're ahead, you can ignore Black Cleaver and replace it with Essence Reaver. Then continue the build as normal. Rapid Fire Cannon is great to just further enhance this build with attack speed as well as start your crit build. The long auto is also great. You can proc your double auto with that extra range. After Rapid Fire Cannon, build into an Infinity Edge. This will put your crit at 60%, which will give you a choice of either completing crit with another crit item or just building other items. But being at 60% crit is still a really good spot. The sixth item is mostly situational. A GA will guarantee your safety while the passive is up. Mercurial Scimitar if you have any CC threats. I would also mention that QSS can be purchased much earlier if it's necessary. More is great against high AP bursts, and of course you can build Hex Drinker early as well. Since Lucian can already shred tanks, unless he needs the Groover Swoon passive from Mortal Reminder, you can build a Phantom Dancer. It's great for dueling and capping your crit at 100% as mentioned before, and general mobility with its passive. Bloodthirster and Death Dance are choices if you require lifestyle, which I haven't really added here. As mentioned already, Lucian sits at the highest win rate for almost all ELOs. He does consistent damage to tanks, something ADCs can't deal with until much later into the game. One of the few ADCs in this meta with a dash. He's slightly more mechanical than most other champs, but his decision making around your dashes will separate the good Lucians from the great ones. Try to time your dash to dodge and then go aggressive. Definitely a fun champ to play, and I'm very surprised he hasn't been nerfed yet. Try this out and let me know how it goes. Leave a like if this helped you and comment below if you have any questions or feedback. I check comments a few times a day. See you guys in the next video.